Hi everyone, Basil Chapman for the Tiger Financial News Network at 11 o'clock market update and we're looking at the Dow up 580 at 35,808. That was a fantastic candle as it accelerated yesterday. It did pull back just a little bit from the high, but following through with a gap like this, because there's actually an island reversal potential here that is telling us something that is really very important and it's saying that the to, to overcome all the negativity of the past week just like that in a couple of sessions says that if I would normally expect some kind of a doji, a small candle like a plus sign tomorrow and then a pullback the following day or tomorrow there's a pullback, as long as the 30, at 35,805, as long as the 35,500 to 35,400 area holds the support in the short term. That's very good action. I am kind of impressed, I must say. The S&P at this particular point is up uh, also sharply. It's up 100 points at 46.91. All-time high is 47.43. Wow, it's almost there. Hey, this is really good news. Unless it's just a sudden bad news thing, who knows what it could be anything. But whatever it is, if the market doesn't react to news negatively, but dismisses news and moves up or treats every bit of news as positive, I will not fight that. That means that the market, the buoyancy is there. It's wanting to move up. And even the QQQ is now up 2.8%. A break in the resistance is at 397. It's lagging, definitely lagging. That's the rotation correction we've been calling for. And that's unfolded until December the 1st. And we're looking at the IWM still very, very, it's strong today, but still weak. Gold is really struggling. It's up uh, $5 at 1784. It needs to get up into the 1808 area or higher to be able to say, I've changed course at this point. It's just sideways. If you're looking at the TLT, I didn't go through that very much during the show. I'm calling this an alternate count with a 152.99 high of three days ago. I'm watching this closely because you know with a rectangle formation, you can come back in. So let's just see if yields are going to go higher or lower right now. Uh, they are going just a fractional higher, and crude oil has had a very nice move to the upside. It's up 3.22 at 72.71. So far, the VIX index is my key, and I spoke about this yesterday during the, the show. My target technicians, I said, if this starts to pull back sharply, that's the sign we've been looking for. Because look at this, every time it's hit the 28th or higher level for the past eight months or so, it's pulled back the following week very sharply. Have a wonderful uh, rest of the day. Uh, stay tuned for Larry and all the rest of the show. I'll be back with Tom a little later on. It should be a great program. Yeah, this is a great day to be you. Be back later. Have a great day.